Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I got some interesting things for you today to consider, and some real chin rubbers. I can't figure this out. It's pretty interesting stuff. But what's going on with GM frames? Some are wax-coated, and some are e-coated or painted. Wait, I know, for those who have followed the channel quite a bit or have been a fan of trucks for a long time, you've known that GM, with their full-size trucks and SUVs, Tahoe, Yukon, Escalade, that kind of stuff, have put a wax coating on their frame, but they don't do the same thing for the mid-sized trucks. This is so interesting to me. So it's on pickuptrucktalk.com. I wrote the story, and it was from a Facebook post. Uh, this guy had got his new 2023 Colorado, brings it home, says, hey, you know they don't wax coat these anymore. It's now a painted frame. And I was like, wait, what? I, what, huh? What? Huh? And it's actually true. And it's actually even more than that true. And I learned something new today, which I, I'm sorry, I get a little excited. I love learning new stuff. And so if you go to pickuptrucktalk.com, I'll put the link below in the comments. I'll pin it down, you know, read the story later on because it'll cycle off the homepage pretty soon. Is that we have the GM frame debate, wax versus e coded or painted in a way. So if you look at the photos here, this is from uh, Brandon Young, who just bought his new Colorado. Congratulations, new Colorado. Took it home and he sent, the, sent these photos on the Facebook group and I asked him if I could use permission to use them. He said, yeah. And so if you look at these photos, like this is a good one right here. You can see this black coating on here. It's paint. Uh, and over here, you can see it right there. Nice black coating. Now, if you go down here to the Sylvie Silverado, that one I have sitting outside, see this here? This is a wax coating there. And so it looks dusty, looks dirty. It's a, it's a, it's it's like a... A thin film of wax on top. You can take your finger and scrape it a little bit. And the idea there is it grows back. That's what GM's always said on this wax coating. And so what do we got the differences? We have wax versus e-coating. So e-coating is basically an immersion wet paint finishing process. They use an electrical current to attract the paint product to a metal surface. So I've seen this in different uh, places. Bilstein does this as well, what they do their shocks. They will uh, use electrical current to either make the paint negative or the paint positive either way. They take the, the item, make that negative or positive opposite way, right? so kind of like my magnets idea. And so when you spray, it actually, the object actually brings in the paint into it. It sucks it in. And so you get it in little crevices that really work really well. In the wax coating case, I, I'm trying to get a better understanding of this. Best I can understand is actually dip this into a, 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 a vat and it comes out with a wax coating on it. And what's interesting, they put this on a train, they send it in to the plants. So when the plant gets it, it has a wax coating. For years, I've talked to GM engineers who have defended wax coating as being superior to the painted frames since the wax would grow back over any scratches in a frame, unlike a painted frame. If you paint, put a scratch in a painted frame, you could expose the frame to rust. And the thing is, you won't even notice it unless you're putting your truck in a lift like once a month looking for different scratches and things like that. Uh, while the wax frame, the Scratch goes away over time as the wax fills it in. So the wax kind of molds in and fills it in. However, wax has been very criticized by a lot of owners for falling off, especially in areas that use salt or roads, or salt on the roads, or even hot temperatures, cold temperatures, anything that's basically a lot of uh, differences in temperature and differences in salt and differences in mixture. I've actually seen uh, what we're going to call them here, the horns on the front of a bumper horn, you know, on the front of the truck. We take that bumper off, these little horns come up. I've seen those actually completely void of any paint and of any wax because it got hit by a certain uh, chemical used in the Northeast at one time, whatever, just a perfect storm of, of this chemical hit and actually eroded off the wax. And so I don't know. It, it, so I, I think I go on the story, talk about eco, talking, I explain what that is. Like I talked about, uh, I can confirm the 1500 has a wax coating. You can see it right here. And I put a little scratch in it. You really can't tell on camera um, unless you, yeah, you're really up close to do this. And I just thought I didn't need to because I can show you this. And I can show you this co this painted frame here. Now, the painted frame definitely looks cleaner. It looks easier to work on. You can see more scratches. doesn't get in your way. I know a lot of mechanics and, and people that do um, body work and stuff don't like the wax frame because it's hard to get it looking perfect. And when they're done with the product, and they have to, it's constantly fighting with it a little bit. Where, where, it's, where with this, you can make this look pretty good, actually. And if you can scratch it, you take some Rust-Oleum or you take some frame paint or whatever. You can just paint on top of it. This wax over here, what I've heard people do is I've heard them take um, some bed liner spray, play it on there. I've heard people just take fluid film and put some fluid film on the on the, on the the uh, cut marks or try to repair it. I mean, there really isn't a whole lot of repairing going on with that wax frame. So it's interesting. So I reached out to GMC on the 2023 Canyon. I was curious if the Canyon and Colorado were different. Nope, they're the same. 
Patrick Sullivan, GMC Senior Manager of Product and Brand Communications, confirmed it was painted or e-coded. Then I was like, you know, you got to tell me this. Why? I asked him further on why GM doesn't e-coat as well as wax. It seems bizarre, right? Why would you coat one and wax others? Like, it, And he said the difference in coating between the Sierra and the Canyon is based on engineering decisions with the respective architectures were being developed. Hmm. Both solutions, waxed coating for the Sierra and painted coating for the Canyon, meet their high standards for corrosion. Hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, since Chevrolet and GMC are similar trucks, explanation applies to both. I mean, I, I guess what, what I even went back in time and did some more research on this, as far as I can tell, this is the deal, is when they went from S10 to Colorado, they started e-coating the Colorado frames. The S10 frames were wax. When they were at Silverado and has been waxed for for a while, I, you guys put comments down below. When's the first time you saw a Silverado wax frame? As far as I can tell my research, it's been decades now. They've done wax frames. Uh, Tahoe, Yukon, Escalade, Suburban, basically anything that's a full-size SUV or a full-size truck and the heavy duties as well. Heavy duty trucks all have a wax coated frame. But I think below that, like the mid-size Colorado, and also I believe it is in the mid-size Chevy SUVs and GM SUVs. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, put the comments down below. But I, I think I've looked under those a few times and I believe those are all e-coated frames. So I don't understand, from my aspect, I don't understand what the difference between truck to truck is. And I don't understand why you would defend one as being so superior and then e-code another one. And I understand engineering decisions are different and maybe the frame is done in such a way that uh, wax coating wouldn't work as well. I don't even know that makes sense. And, and unfortunately, as a journalist, I've never been able to see them wax coat a frame, like I said, because they come, the frames come shipped in my rail to the factory. And I've never been able to go to the um, frame factory, basically. And it always comes in some from a third party supplier. So I don't know. I just thought that was really interesting and really bizarre and really got me hmm, not going, not knowing what's going on with this. I just thought, you know, I mean, it's, it's a deal breaker. I don't know. I mean, I like, I, I do like the painted frame. It looks cleaner, <clears throat> cleaner. The, it, it's cl it, easier to clean as well. And, but you have to keep more of an eye on it for scratches and things. Now I do know people will comment immediately how they hate wax frames. They have lots of valid reasons for that. Um, I don't have a problem with wax frame. I have, but I mean, I could definitely see where that could be an issue in a climate. If we had more salt on our roads, for example, I live in a very arid part of Western Nebraska. Eastern side gets lots of salt and lots of salt roads. They have a lot of humidity. Western side, very arid. So we don't have the same problems, but you know, from my aspect, at least they're doing something with the frames and doing something to protect them. Remember a couple of years ago, I did that 2021 power boost and the rear differential has are showing rust at like three, 4,000 miles. I crawled underneath all these different trucks and it was only the Tundra and the Ram that actually painted the differential and coated it with uh, some rust protection. Would it rust through in the differential? No. Does it look bad? Yeah. So I don't know. It's every brand's got a different viewpoint on this. And that's why I find this job so interesting because, you know, Ford, Ram, Toyota, Nissan all e-coat the frames in half tons. GM, C, and Chevy wax. But you go below that. And now you have them all e-coding mid-size trucks. <laughs> uh, what gives? This is this is why it keeps me up at night because I'm just like, tell me the answer. I can't find the answer. So, anyways, put your comments down below. What do you guys think the answer is? What do you guys do? You think it's an engineering thing? Are the frames that much different? Is it is a real reason behind it? I know you guys love to give me uh, your comments on that kind of stuff, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Check out the videos over here. Website down below as well. Pickuptrucktalk.com, and I'll pin the story to that comments down below so you can check it out later on if it's not on the homepage anymore. As always. Thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.